Alright guys, here we are, Home Depot. Gonna be installing the lithium. I took the terminals over here to look for a boat for my battery box. 630. Shit. Home Depot. DIY kit, man, for 815. It is 6:45 a.m. Just got off Home Depot. I got two of these. This is gonna be the concept. I saw some videos. Some guys put some drywall screws in here, but I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna put a washer underneath the wood and then bolt it down good. So it'll be nice and secure like that. With the other one too. And yeah, stay tuned about some Screws for the balancer, double sided tape, that's about it. Eight bucks, stay tuned. It's looking pretty good, unfinished. Oak wood. Stay tuned. All right, the battery delete is done. I built the box, but it didn't fit. Um, get them already in the back. Let's see if we got power. Turns on, we got power over here. We're sitting at 14.2. Starts right up. No problems. It's 98 degrees. 13.8 with the ADM and lead acid. At this temperature, I was sitting at 13.2 volts. Let's see how the ADM power. I do not own the rights of this song. It's E40. My shit bang decaf. What? Am I turning that down a little bit? All right, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. As you can see, I can test out over here, 13.7, let's see if it goes up. What's up? Well, my alternator didn't like 14.2, 14.1 volts, so, so right now it's sitting at 13.5, at full tilt it doesn't drop below 13.2 volts with the AGM and the stock battery in the front it went down to the 11s Sunday I went to compete and it measured 145.11 with 13.99 watts with the AGM and the stock battery two CVX's 15s not bad for it 13.99 watts I'll see what it does with the lithium next is gonna be high output alternator and upgrade the amp and now throw some power to the CBX's laters <laughs> 